no one uh, in the administration or in D.C. that's contemplating a federal bailout uh, of Puerto Rico. Uh, but we do remain committed to working with Puerto Rico and their leaders uh, as they address the serious challenges, serious financial challenges, that are currently plaguing the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. Ballyhooed as the dawn of a new era in European finances, the euro is sitting right there on the cusp of dying a very public death thanks to the Greek government and their incomprehensible method of dealing with simple math and money. And back home, we have to wonder why we wouldn't bail out or at least help the now bankrupt, quote-unquote, 51st state. That, a bag of chips and a few dollars for overtime. Let's welcome back the veteran economist, author, and professor of business at the University of Maryland, Peter Morisi. Peter, let's go ahead and start at home because we keep hearing about Greece, 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 but Puerto Rico, if you think about it, I, I joked at calling them the 51st state, but they are so tightly connected to the United States. That's a much bigger deal than Greece, is it not? Well, yes, it could have a much bigger effect, for example, on the bond market in the United States for, say, Illinois state bonds or what have you. A lot depends on what happens with Puerto Rico and its uncharted territory. It's not covered by U.S. bankruptcy law the way the states and, and the municipalities are. It's not a sovereign government the way a state is, and it's not a municipality, so it can't take refuge in Chapter 9. At the end of the day, though, if you can't pay, you can't pay, and if you cancel your debts, what are they going to say? So we're talking about, as I get it correctly here, $72 billion in U.S. holdings here in Puerto Rico. So let's just say that they do. They can't pay their bills. They completely default. What happens, and where are the domino effects? Well, the initial effect is on the investors for whom I have no tears. Most have been investing, you know, most of the investors in, in Puerto Rican bonds these days are people that bought them at a discount, gambling that somehow or other Puerto Rico would solve its problems. But Puerto Rico is not like Greece. The Greeks stay in Greece. Puerto Ricans have been leaving for the mainland because conditions are so bad and the island is depopulating. Uh, there are bigger fools uh, than the gang on Wall Street that bet on Puerto Rico, but I can't find them. The secondary effects, though, are how the courts may handle this, because it's not covered by statute, and it has a unique status and relationship to the United States. The courts can just make it up as they go along, as these creditors try to get their money. And I suspect the courts are going to be very favorable to Puerto Rico, much as they were, for example, to Detroit. You know, the, the unions got away with murder in Detroit, as they were towards Chrysler. This administration... You know, it's a sharecropper's administration. It doesn't take much chuck with the, with the uh, uh, claims of, uh, of banks and so forth. They don't really like bankers very well. They're kind of useful vehicles for them. And so they won't have much trouble stiffing the rich people. And as a consequence, that should give people pause about the protections they think they have when they buy bonds in a state like Illinois, that keeps such an irresponsible regime going and churning and smoking the way Chicago does. Good advice. Let's go ahead and turn to Greece now. You wrote several weeks ago, I believe, oh, just recently. Well, that the week, Twitter... I'm on the ball here. I'm sorry? I'm on the game. <laughs> we know that. That's why we have you here, Peter. We're smart that way. We go for the smart people. Uh, you wrote recently, and it was on the Newsmax website, the sooner Greece defaults and dumps the euro, the better. All right. People are going to argue with you till the cows come home or until the souvlaki comes home. Why? Well, basically, 2000 to 2010, Greeks fall. They borrowed a lot of money. Uh, they lived over the, beyond their means, although it's, it wasn't a poor country. This isn't Puerto Rico. It's very middle income. Uh, but uh, in 2010, the Germans and all the rest decided, well, we can't afford to have them leave the Eurozone by defaulting, so we'll bail them out and we'll pick up their debt. So they basically gave the private creditors a haircut and put the debt on the books of the European Central Bank and the, uh, the, the European Union and so forth in a bailout. Well, now the Greeks still can't pay, but all the austerity they've imposed on Greece has causes their economy to shrink by 25%. So they really can't pay. I mean, they have less money than before. Uh, it's really unfair to blame Greece for all of this. I think the Germans are like those gamblers in New York uh, with Puerto Rican bonds. They're going to get what they deserve. By the way, Paulson in New York has got a lot of Greek debt. He's going to get what he deserves. It's been a fool's journey to think you're going to get repaid in Greece for a very long time now. All right, 45 seconds or less. President Obama will propose a plan to extend overtime pay to 5 million Americans. Good idea or bad idea? Mr. Obama loves to buy votes with other people's money. <laughs> Going all the way to $52,000 a year as a you know, pay rate for, for overtime pay is absurd. 
what it's going to do is create a lot more part-time workers because with health insurance being so expensive, two choices. Hire people for 29 hours a week, don't pay them health insurance at all, or get as many hours as you can if you have to buy an expensive health insurance policy, so pay for overtime to 60. It's not going to pay to do overtime anymore, so they're going to cut the jobs in half. My goodness, what a shock. Buying votes. I never thought we ever would have gotten to this point in America. Really? I'm, I, I'm <laughs> stunned, Peter, just like you. I have that perfect face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> People are going to think we're kidding, but we're actually not. Peter, always a pleasure to have you on the... <laughs> always a pleasure, my friend. Take care. We'll see you next week. Oh, goodness. What a shock. Buying votes in Washington, D.C. Be still my beating wallet. Uh, coming up next, those who will fight same-sex marriage at any cost on The Hardline.